Jacqueline from Enlightened Styles and I wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how I blow dry my hair. I want to show you the products that I use and the way I section my hair off to make this a quick and painless affair. So I will start off with a few brushes. I like to go in with a, round, a medium round brush and a flat brush. This one you can tell it has bore bristles and regular bristles. This helps really smooth out your hair. The other thing you're going to really need is clips. So you can use these or those butterfly clips, whatever is easiest for you. But the biggest thing for this is going to be to section your hair. That will take a lot of time away. Then I am going for a softer look where I'm going to do a little bit of body on the bottom but I don't really want um, it to be stick straight or really curly. So I will use a line, number 12. It's a straightening balm. And then I'm also going to use a volume. It's aggregate number 8. This is going to give me plenty of volume up here so my hair doesn't go too fat, um, flat. First, what I'm going to start with is the number eight. I'm just taking a little bit. I got a lot of hair, but you really want to use less with products. So maybe a nickel size to um, no more than a quarter. Rub this really good in my hands. And this, because this is what's going to give us volume, that's what you want to go right at your roots. So I will put this in my hair. Then the next thing I'm going to use is the straightening balm. This one I need even less of, like a little pea size. And I'm putting it through my ends. So I work that in. And to really pull everything together, I'll brush it through. That way I can make sure that the product gets everywhere it needs to be. want to do, I've gotten the products in, I don't want to start with my um, any of my brushes yet because you want to get most of the moisture out of your hair. I would say anywhere from 80 to 90 percent of the moisture out of your hair before you even start thinking about using a brush. Um, the only thing that I'll use on my brush or for the brush before it is um, completely dry is maybe my bangs and I'll use the flat brush for that but this when I wetted them down this morning, they got pretty dry fast, so I'm going to just leave those alone for right now. I'm going to go in and just rough dry my hair. as I'm blow drying I'm focusing more on the roots because that's where your hair is going to hold the moisture. Most of the ends will dry pretty fast. I would say my hair is pretty dry. It's probably about 80% dry. Now is when I'm going to start using my brush and sectioning off. So I'm going to take a section right over top of my ears, all the way around. Then I will use my clip and get the top hair out of my way. Now with longer hair, it is very hard to try to blow dry and use my arm all the way back here. So I will take my fingers, part it down the middle, and bring it to the front. take my brush and also I find a lot of people trying to use do both at the same time get your brush positioned in your hair before you pull pick up your blow dryer so I will typically have my blow dryer in my lap 
position the brush, then pick up my blow dryer and start. I'm pointing the nozzle downward, okay? This is going to help direct the hair and the air to go down. You do not want all these little hairs going up because you're going to end up with frizzy hair, okay? So I will take the nozzle. gonna move the chair a little bit further away so you can see all my hair since it's so long. Now you can see that I'm gonna take the brush again. I go really slow so so I don't have to go over the section over and over and over again. I go really slow to make sure it's getting nice and dry and then giving it a little curl at the bottom. Okay you can either go in like this or what I'm gonna do today is really bring it out because I want it to flip up a little bit. There you can see I get that nice curl at the end. And because I went through and rough dried my hair, this is already dry. You do not have to spend a lot of time with your brush. It's going to save you a lot of time if you do it this way. So, to go on to the next side, I'm really going to get, you know, the brush in there and get it prepared, then go in with the blow dryer. Now, if you could tell, I had the brush on the bottom here, but I really want the hair to flip out, so I put my blow dryer down and really take the brush and position it so you're not getting your hair tangled in the brush. If you roll it up like that and then you can put down the blow dryer and roll it down, that's going to save you a lot of heartache. It also helps let it dry or um, cool down before you take the brush out and now you get a nice flip. Now that those sections are dry, I'm going to do the exact same thing all the way up. So you're going to see me take section by section, all the way up by hair. Parting it in the back. And then see, this is already dry, so I pull that from the back. I will section a little bit more once it comes, like I'm working my way up so I can get a little more control. Just to get each section goes so much quicker because I did that um, first air dry or rough dry, excuse me, um, makes it so much easier because my hair is already basically dry. Now I'm just setting it into where I want it to be. That. Typically for my hair, it'll take about four sections going up. You'll notice each time I section, I'm still going in and positioning my brush first. section 
and this is the top so I really want to add a little bit of volume into this one so I'm going to section this a little differently I'm going to take a section going to the back and this is where I'm really going to make sure that I position my um, brush where I want it to be so I'm going to smooth that out see I'm going to the top and I'm going to roll this down because I want volume right in through here so I'm getting that root dry really good and then I'm going to slowly unwind this now carefully watch how I'm unwinding this I was unwinding it one turn at a time okay because I was able to get the volume that I wanted in there and if I need to go back in on the ends and really um, get it to flip the way I want to I can but right now I'm just concentrating on that root and getting that volume in there so position that in there For this one, for those of you who really don't feel comfortable winding it all the way down, you feel like you're going to get it stuck, just do it like this and wind it at the base and just pull straight out. See how that gives me volume and then it's going to fall to the side. Now I can focus on the ends a little bit more, getting them to go which way I want them. nice flip and that volume going from root to end but this is a really easy way to get the style and going from you know if you have to shampoo that morning and you didn't do it because most of the times I do it at night um, this is a really easy way to do it if you all if you have to do it all um, at once so. now for the bangs I will take the flat brush brought them over to the side a little bit. The flat brush I really was concentrating, I wanted this to be straight. I don't want this to be flipping out. So that is what I do. And then I'll go in with a little bit of oil just to add some shine at the ends. Very little. I didn't even use a full pea size. And go back in to the ends. This will help control any frizz and add shine. That's it. I hope this helped you. Thank you.